Hello everyone, welcome you all for Perceptron Learning Rule session. Here, the Perceptron is an artificial neuron or neural network unit which is used to build an artificial neural network. The Perceptron may, may be single layer Perceptron or multi layer Perceptron. Perceptron is receiving a vector of real valued inputs and computes a linear combination of these inputs. For example, the given data set is uh, having feature 1, feature 2 and this is the target output or a desired output which is having four number of samples here. The input in the given data set is real valued inputs. So, using this inputs, it will calculate the linear combination of this input. That means linear sum of this inputs w0 x0 plus w1 x1 plus w2 x2 etc. wn xn which is uh, sum which is expressed in the form of summation of i equal to 0 to n wi xi. So, here it can be expressed by, by using the single layer perceptron the x1 and x2 yeah, based upon this given data set the both are called features then the w1 and w2 both are associated with the corresponding inputs x1 and x2 then we are finding the linear summation here what is the w0 so in in a perceptron network the w0 is the bias so here the w0 will be given as bias suppose if it is not mentioned in the network then w0 will be assumed as a 0 and what about the x0 x0 is always called uh, positive 1 the input for the x0 is positive 1 so here the w0 is called bias sometimes it will be called as a b x0 is always mentioned with the 1 so it it may be represented sometimes wi xi summation of i equal to 1 to n plus b sometimes the, it may be expressed in this uh, equation so it is predicting the output by using the threshold value so here we will use some threshold value in the perceptron based upon the given uh, desired output so it will display as a one if the result is greater than the threshold otherwise if it is less than the threshold it will be uh, assumed as a zero or minus one so so here the minus 1 and 0 representing as a negative class and the plus 1 is uh, representing as a positive class output. So here based upon that we can express the predicted output y dash equal to positive 1 whenever the linear combination is greater than or equal to 1 and the negative class samples which is having whenever the uh, calculated output this one is less than 1. Sometimes we may use the desired output in the form of uh, zeros and ones. So, if and when you are using the zeros and ones, we can take the threshold value is zero here. You look at that. Whenever you are getting the linear sum greater than zero, we can assume as here that sample belong to positive class. And whenever less than or equal to zero, the predicted output, then we can assume as the sample belongs to negative class. So, we can uh, use some uh, threshold value depends upon our given data set desired output. The perceptron learning rule algorithm is here to use uh, to use it to uh, learning the acceptable weight vector that means so here we will uh, have weight vectors here in the form of uh, vector like this 0 0.5 and 0 0.1 so w1 is 0 0.5 w2 is uh, 0 0.1 so we will take the weight vector which is used to uh, find suitable weights for linear separable data set. So, here whenever the data set is given, we have to check is it linearly separable or non-linearly separable. So, based upon that, uh, how do we identify the data set is linearly separable or non-linearly separable. So, here when you are having the data set like this, we can check the data set as linearly separable or non-linearly separable. You look at that, uh, we will take the example like uh, 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 like that. 
take this data set which is having two features x1 and x2 so we should take uh, the plot to represent x1 and x2 you identify 0 comma 0 we can have the classes here negative class so we can represent by using the uh, negative symbol so i am using the uh, negative symbol to represent the negative class here so 0 comma 0 this place and 0 comma 1 so 0 comma 1 is again uh, this is the place here I am having the negative class then uh, 0, 1 comma 0 so it is also negative class so 1 comma 0 is uh, this place so I am using uh, this is the negative class and 1 comma 1 so this is positive class ok so 1 is positive class so I am representing here the 1 is the positive class I will use the different color to represent that so this is the positive class so whenever the data set is appearing like this if you able to separate by using the linear decision boundary then this data set is called linear separable data so whenever the data set is linear linearly separable then we can use the uh, perceptron learning by using the linear sum uh, activation function with with uh, using some threshold value so here the activation function is using some threshold value to find out the output for classifying the examples initially uh, in the perceptron network we will assign with random weights for example you can take w1 equal to 0 0.5 w2 equal to 0 0.1 then we will uh, check the training examples we will take the first training example so based upon that here we will apply the perceptron uh, rule to compute the predicted output for each and every training sample so here uh, the predicted output is uh, calculated by using the linear sum and comparing the uh, predicted output with the given threshold value either that belongs to positive sample or negative sample so here we have to compare that actual uh, actual output and the predicted output so the first sample is having the predicted output is here 0 actual output is 0 both are matching so here uh, the sample number 2 again we are checking the predicted output is 0 and actual output is 0 both are matching so correctly classified then sample number 3 here the uh, actual output is 0 predicted output is 1 so it is misclassified once the sample is misclassified then we have to apply the perceptron rule to modify the weights so the weights to be updated to classify this sample misclassified misclassified sample into correctly classified so for that we will use the perceptron rule uh, to update the weights wi equal to wi plus delta wi so here the what is the delta wi which is uh, multiplied with learning rate uh, uh, with the error here actual output minus predicted output into the corresponding uh, input xi for the wi we have to repeat this until the perceptron classifying all the samples perfectly so if the uh, so whenever the uh, updates are do, uh, to be done for the weights it has to classify all the uh, samples perfectly until that we have to keep on apply the perceptron rule uh, uh, to update the weights continuously so here we will see the example in the uh, next video uh, thanks for watching.